Pearl, home to a thriving port, major tourist attractions, and famous as the birthplace of anti-slavery campaigner William Wilberforce. But this week on Songs of Praise, I'm in the city for a completely different reason. To hitch a ride on Europe's largest travelling fun fair. And today I'm going to discover how the travelling show men and show women balance the business of fun and faith. Also on today's show, Grammy award-winning jazz singer Gregory Porter reveals how his faith shapes his music. You know, people always leave my consciousness like, oh, I feel like I was in church. <laughs> and pop music producer and railway enthusiast Pete Waterman is on a special mission in Gloucestershire. I'll be finding out why a quiet country vicar created the most famous steam engine in the world. find some inspiration in our music today which comes from right across the country and we start in Keswick. October, a quiet car park in Hull is transformed into a perfect playground for thousands. And with 18 acres of rides and stores, it's also the location of what's become Europe's largest travelling fun fair. As these early pictures show, the fun fair has been going a long time. In fact, nearly 750 years. Today, it attracts more than 400,000 visitors. The guest family, including mother and daughter, who have both called Pauline, have been bringing their waltzer and other rides to Hell Fair for more than 100 years. The pressures of their travelling lifestyle means it's often difficult to get to a church. Me boys do more travelling than the girls do, because we get put to the coastal places. But we, we do thousands of miles a, a year. So presumably that means you can't go to a regular church service every week and be part of a single congregation? We pray when we can. 
Like you don't have to go to church to pray. You can pray in a supermarket. You can pray washing the pots up at that mm -hmm. sink. But I do say my prayers every night of my life. Oh, that's it. When I have a beautiful grandson put in my arms, I think, well, there must be a God above. <laughs> In just two days' time, Pauline's grandson David will be baptised in a local church near the fair. We was all christened at all fair on the Sunday, mm -hmm. and uh, I wanted to do the same thing for my little boy. God's like looking onto him and looking over him and looking after him, mm -hmm. even though I believe in God in your own way, mm -hmm. and I say my prayers every night, but I still want my boy to be christened like we all was mm -hmm. and to be blessed in church. Another official function which happens at the fair is the opening ceremony by the Lord or Lady Mayoress. A key part of events is the blessing of the fair with a prayer written especially by Yorkshire's chaplain to the Showman's Guild, Reverend Alan Bagshaw. Over two decades or more, this prayer has started our fair. Dear Lord and Father, we give you thanks for the richness and colour of life and for the privilege we have in its enjoyment. And finally, with the ringing of the bell, to everyone's delight, that's the signal for the fun to well and truly begin. I'm joining up with Alan on one of the fair's biggest rides to discover more about the religious ritual around its opening. The showman loved tradition, and so 20 or so years ago, I decided to compose the prayer I call the whole fair prayer, uh, you know, especially for that occasion, and to cover our thankfulness to God for the great thrill of what the fair brings, and for his blessing upon the people who come along to it. So that's where the, the prayer comes in, and it comes out every year. How important is faith to the showman? I think it's very important to them. They don't wear it openly in, in some way, but it's always that sense that they don't try to better God, but they need to feel they can depend on him. So many imponderables in their lifestyle, investing in very expensive equipment, and then it not taking money, disaster for them. So they want to know God is blessing them. And uh, you know, I think in that quiet way, they will be constantly saying, thank God in their lives. 